Hello, everyone. There are various types of ships for different purposes, one of which is a commercial ship, also known as a merchant ship. Commercial ship is used to carry both passengers and various types of cargo. The types of commercial ships include Roro ships, cruise ships, tankers, cargo ships, and many others. Most commercial ships today are powered by fossil fuels, but in the 1960s, nuclear-powered commercial ships were built. The vessel is named NS Savannah. Constructed by the United States, it stands as the sole nuclear-powered commercial ship in service for commercial purposes. The construction of the Savannah was part of the Atoms for Peace program, which aimed to promote the peaceful use of nuclear energy. In its history, NS Savannah was designed as a nuclear-powered commercial ship in early 1955. The project for constructing NS Savannah was officially launched by the President of the United States. The ship was then launched in July 1959 and commenced sailing in 1962 after completing testing and certification. The ship has a length of 182 meters and a width of 24 meters. Its power source is a pressurized water reactor with a capacity of 74 megawatts. Around the reactor inside the ship, there are multiple protective layers to ensure that the crew and engineers are shielded from radiation. Additionally, it is equipped with an energy-absorbing structure designed to protect the ship in the event of a collision with another vessel. If the ship were to sink due to an incident, the reactor inside would automatically shut down. And as Savannah was designed to reach speeds of 22, 24 knots. In 1964, to showcase the ship's advanced features and the benefits of nuclear fuel, NS Savannah embarked on a world tour. Throughout its journey covering nearly 150,000 kilometers, the Savannah consumed only 15 kilograms of uranium. NS Savannah was conceptualized as a luxurious vessel serving both as a cargo and cruise ship. However, the passenger accommodation spaces were designed to be excessively spacious, while the cargo areas were relatively small. This design imbalance made cargo handling difficult. Additionally, high operational costs and lengthy port clearance procedures resulted in financial losses. Consequently, NS Savannah was retired in 1971 after nine years of operation. During its operational period, NS Savannah covered a distance of 830,000 kilometers, visiting 45 countries, 32 domestic ports, and being visited by approximately 1.4 million people. As of now, the only active nuclear-powered commercial ship is the Soviet-built vessel named Sevmorpet. Constructed in 1982 in Ukraine, it was launched in 1986 and commenced operations in 1988. The name Sevmorpet is derived from the Northern Sea Route, as the ship plays a crucial role in commerce and transportation along the Arctic's Northern Sea Route. Sevmorpet is a nuclear-powered cargo ship with icebreaker capabilities. With a length of 260 meters and a width of 32 meters, it is equipped to navigate and break through ice. With a power of 40,000 horsepower, Sevmorpet easily traverses ice-covered waters with a thickness of one and a half meters or more during its journeys along the Northern Sea Route. Sevmorpet is equipped with a 29-megawatt nuclear reactor, allowing it to reach a maximum speed of approximately 20.8 knots, or 38 kilometers per hour. Sevmorpet faced concerns from the public regarding potential radiation leaks, leading to instances where the ship was rejected at certain ports due to protests from local communities. Workers at some ports also refused to load or unload cargo on this ship due to fears of radiation leaks. This fear among the public was exacerbated by concerns related to the recurrence of a disaster like the Chernobyl incident that occurred in 1986. In reality, since its launch in 1988, there have been no incidents reported on Sevmorpet up to the present day.
Apart from stringent controls, the reactor inside Sevmorpa is equipped with a robust shielding system, ensuring its resilience even in the event of a collision with another vessel. In 2016, Sevmorpit underwent extensive renovations and upgrades. Currently, Sevmorpit is utilized to transport materials and equipment for oil and gas projects from Murmansk to their designated locations, covering a distance of 1,300 nautical miles or approximately 2,400 kilometers through the Barents Sea. Despite Sevmorpet being the only operational nuclear-powered commercial ship, currently there are efforts within certain circles to reintroduce and popularize nuclear-powered commercial vessels. Indeed, there are initiatives such as a South Korean-based organization and another project called No Proceed being developed in Norway, all aimed at advancing nuclear-powered commercial ship projects. This is because nuclear power is considered a clean alternative to reduce carbon emissions. The shipping industry contributes 3% of total greenhouse gas emissions and is deemed challenging to decarbonize, making nuclear energy a potential solution to address this issue. One of the primary advantages of nuclear-powered commercial ships is their ability to operate for months or even years without the need for refueling. Given this condition, nuclear-powered commercial ships become an attractive option for long-distance journeys, especially on routes distant from ports and with limited fueling resources. However, on the flip side, reviving nuclear-powered commercial ship technology also poses challenges. One of the main challenges is the management of nuclear waste produced by the nuclear reactor on such ships. Radioactive waste must be managed with extreme care and safety to avoid any risks to the environment and the surrounding communities.